All right. Um, hello, everybody. Um, this is the first video on a series I'm going to do called Creation of Christ. And it is a series um, based on an app that I already have it's called the Discovery Bible app. So if you want to look at that, um, yeah, you can look at that. Um, it's, it's, it's where I got all the content. But basically, another place you can get all the content, um, much more, is the Bible itself. So read the Bible, um, NKJV version, but you can read a different version and follow along. Um, in fact, sometimes that's better. You kind of get a contrast. But um, this is the, um, basically, the version that I have been reading recently, just more, more comfortable with that. But anyways, we're going to read um, the very first part of the creation of Christ. We've got to start with creation, obviously. So that's Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 through 25. So um, before we start, I'm just going to pray for everybody who's listening and everybody um, who will listen. So um, Jesus, I just lift up this time. I'm going to lift up as I read your word. Lord, help me not to read from my own understanding and help nobody who's listening or watching this to read from their own understanding. Lord, I just pray in your name, uh, Holy Spirit, uh, Son, Jesus, and um, Father, Yahweh, that you would just just work through everything that we say and read. And um, even if we don't understand it, Lord, I just pray that we would all have open hearts and um, just open minds to receive the truth of your word. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so um, pretty simple. Um, if you aren't used to praying, um, one thing you can think about as you pray along with me um, is, you know, what are you thankful for this week? Um, what are you frustrated with? And pray through that with God. Um, and also, um, what kind of needs do you see in your own family, in the community around you? Um on the campus, wherever you happen to be in your work, um, and how can you meet those needs? Pray and ask God to give you ideas on how you can be a blessing to your community. All right, but with all, all that, after you've done, after you're done praying about that, um, or talking about that with um, whoever you might be watching this with, or just going over the Bible together with later on, um, the next thing you do is read the Bible, or listen to the story, and I can just read it out loud for you, whatever works best. <coughs> so, Genesis 1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God divided the light from the darkness, and he called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So, so the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, so the evening and the morning were the second day. And then God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and he gathered together the waters, and he called them seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass and herb that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, those whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And so the evening and the morning were the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens, to divide the night from the day, and for signs and seasons, and for days and for years. And let them be for lights in the firmament, for the heavens to give lights on the earth, or light on the earth. And it was so. And then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser not light to rule the night. And he made the stars as well, or also. And God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give them light on the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. 
and God saw that it was good. And so the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Then God said, let the waters abound with abundance of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves with which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. So there was evening and there was morning the fifth day. And then God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to its kind, cattle, creeping things and beasts of the earth, each according to its kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And then God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of the, all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be for food. Also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, in which there is life, I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. And then God saw that everything that he had made was indeed very good. And so there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. Um, I went a little longer than um, I was supposed to. Past 25, I went all the way up to the end of the chapter. But um, basically, um, if you want, you can rewind, watch it again, uh, listen to what I'm saying again, or read it yourself. Um, but it's good to read it twice just so that you kind of absorb it. And then what you should do is you should um, definitely just like kind of if you're in a group uh, talk about it you know um, if you're not think about it and, and try to write it down actually because it's it's good to actually verbalize and write these things down so they have they're organized and you're making yourself crit critically think about this but think first um is um what what is this saying about god and then what is this saying about creation um and what is this saying about the nature of mankind actually maybe hold off on the nature of mankind until next video um but definitely what is it saying about god what's it saying about creation and his nature and how can i apply these truths if they're from god how can i apply them to my life and um yeah I, I, that's pretty much all you have to do um and just um think about it and make it make it something that's practical something that's um smart you know something that's um that's uh I'm trying to think of the the word it's um it's uh, i think it wasn't simple maybe it was simple simple measurable attainable um relevant and time oriented uh, i don't think i got the acronym completely right but basically try to think of something that you can accomplish and actually apply today not something abstract um, you know, like, okay, God said that creation is good. Do I treat it like it's good? Do I treat it like he made it? Or do I treat it like it's trash? You know, how do I, how would I treat the earth? Um, God said that he, um, created the earth. Do I treat him like he's my creator? Um, and just think about those things and then try to find a practical way to do that. You know, how can I treat God like he's the creator? How can I treat creation like it's God's creation? Um, and, um, whatever God puts on your heart for that, do that this week. And then next week, um, or next time you meet up or next time you want to watch the video, try to apply these things, you know, don't just learn about it, try to apply it. And, um, God should do a lot of great things by growing you in that way through some practical application of his word. So hope you guys are blessed and hope you enjoyed this video.